Elaine, Arkansas's Main Street consists of shells of shuttered storefronts, some with dusty items still on display. Just a little old country town. We barely do have a store. The town's history gives this vacant scenery some haunting context. 100 years ago in Elaine, white mobs massacred hundreds of black men, women, and children in one of the bloodiest racial confrontations in America's history. People still don't talk about it. A lot of people got killed and really wasn't nobody brought to justice. You know, they owned land, they had to run off and leave it, you know, because they were scared. It began on a late September evening in 1919. A group of black sharecroppers were meeting just north of Elaine to demand better pay for their cotton crops. But a deputy sheriff and security officer, both white, showed up and fighting erupted. The security officer was killed. What followed was what's known as the Elaine Massacre. Mobs of white men flooded into the town, killing an estimated 200 black people. Five white people lost their lives. Hundreds of black people were also arrested and jailed. The massacre was a part of dozens of race riots and confrontations that broke out across the U.S. from late spring to early autumn in 1919. It was known as Red Summer, because of the severe racial bloodshed. It used to be a couple of James White was born in Elaine. His grandmother told him stories of how black residents hid in swamps to escape the violence. Now he is the director of the Elaine Legacy Center, an organization that's focused on preserving the town's civil rights history. Narratives about the violence in Elaine differ. Researcher Brian Mitchell has been trying to sort through them. Everybody that had some degree of power in the state or in this county was a part of the process of the massacre. So the people who would control all the records are actively suppressing the records. But some are trying to change that as the 100th anniversary approaches in September. For so long, the Eli massacre was not really acknowledged or it was something that was talked about behind closed doors. Kyle Miller and others, including some white descendants of those who participated in the violence, want recognition of the massacre in a region where there are still many who doubt the severity of the bloodshed. A large swooping concrete monument is under construction across from the Phillips County Courthouse in Helena, about a half hour from Elaine. But not everyone supports the effort. Some residents in Elaine are angry the memorial is being built outside their town. If you said 1919, what do you think of? Elaine. It should have been in Elaine. Those behind the monument defend its placement, saying the massacre was bigger than the small, relatively inaccessible town of Elaine. It was really more of a strategic thing than anything. We wanted something that, that people would be able to easily find and, lo and locate. But members of the Elaine Legacy Center say building a monument misses the mark and that any commemoration must focus on the land taken from black people. They are demanding repayment and reparations for what was lost during the massacre. For white, the tension is a modern day version of the power struggles that were at play in 1919 between wealthy landowners and the poor black residents of Elaine. A hundred years later, it's the same old stuff, just a different day, a lot of it. It's the same old game, just a different day. Noreen Nasser, The Associated Press, Elaine, Arkansas.